Good evening. It came out of nowhere. That's how four construction workers described the water that rushed through an Albuquerque at Oyo earlier this afternoon and threatened to sweep them away. As they fought to get out safely, a teenager was also being rescued. News 13's Maria Medina is live at Carlisle and I-40 with more. Yeah, Jessica, the water actually swept the, the teen away for quite a distance. Now, if you take a look at the Arroyo, there's barely any water in there right now. But where I'm standing is actually where two construction workers were able to crawl out of the Arroyo. Take a look at video of how swift the water was then and what they had to fight to get out. The construction workers were for AS Corner. One was on a man lift, the other in a truck when they got swept away at San Mateo and I-40. Now, at the same time, Albuquerque Fire Department rescuers were trying to reach two other A.S. Horner guys who'd become stuck in a scaffold that broke from the water's pressure. It was around three when we heard they got out okay. Now another incident, a third incident happening at the same time involved that 13-year-old boy. He'd gone in the water at Eubank. Rescuers retrieved him at Candelaria and everyone is okay. The safety director for A.S. Horner says out of all his guys, the two who crawled out of the arroyo feared the most. Out of nowhere, there was, I guess, a microburst upstream that we didn't see it coming, and we just got hit with a lot of water all at once. They said it was pretty spooky. Um, you know, they were in the tunnel, and the truck started filling up with water. He said it was really scary. But again, they did not see the water coming. Now, he actually says they do look out for rain in the distance, and when they do see rain clouds, they do stop working. Back to you. Okay, Maria, there's no word on why the teen was in the Odoyo. He was treated for cuts and bruises at the hospital, but rescuers say he'll be okay.